Hey guys, what's going on? Jay here. Just a quick update on the Chevy Cheeseburger build, the 62 Corvette Gasser. Um, just been working away and haven't done any updates on it. Just um, kind of this motor has taken all my focus and having to do a lot of research on how things go and reference pictures and looking at that and just sort of stuff, but. I think she's pretty close to done or pretty much done all I'm going to do to it. I just have to adjust the headers a little bit. I did the Chevy Cheeseburger headers you can see. Just have to adjust them a little bit. Um, get them a little more squared up. Bring it down here and show you the motor. Not quite sitting in there straight. But uh, it's not glued in or anything like that. I'm just still mocking it up how it's going to sit in the chassis. Like I said, I'm getting the headers squared up uh, a little better in there. Um, but I think the detail work is done to it. So like I did, I ran fuel lines on it. There's the fuel lines. Come on, camera. There's the fuel lines. Put the number one detail master's little fitting on it back there for the fuel lines. And then ran them around. There's another one on the other side there. Oops. Cheeseburger headers coming out there. Tried to scratch build a uh, little air cleaner to go inside the uh, inside the bore. All the reference pictures that I could see, they all had like a. Sorry guys, the camera's not focusing that well, but all the reference pictures I could see they all have like a little they all have like little air cleaners in them, so I thought I'd try to make one for it. Get a little more realistic, but blow off uh, the other side here with the photo etched uh, throttle linkages. It was my first time using this stuff, so tested my patience and you know because parts are so little to glue on and man they're just so hard to they kept falling out of the tweezers and but got them slowly. See I need to adjust them a little better get them square a little bit but they go down to this uh, all the reference pictures I could see they go down to this little uh, black thingy there like it's like just a little mount that they have or another piece of linkage uh, bolts to and then it goes from there I'll put another straight pin on that piece back to the firewall or then it attaches like to the fuel pedal and that's I'm guessing how the carburetors open and close or they you know they work but <clears throat> Headers on this side, they came out all right. They're really giving me a pain in the butt. They took me a while to get because how I had to bring them out a ways and then bend them down like it was, yeah, a little bit of a pain to get them to get fit in there. But I got them on and said, What would be a cheeseburger tribute build without the cheeseburger headers, right? So, and then I put a dipstick on it as well. The little dipstick comes in and out, but I won't take it out. It's a pain in the butt. But. Uh, I went with the VCG resin coil over shock kit on it. This guy here. This I have another one here that's still in the bag, but really nice stuff. Really, I, I've never done this before, so it's really easy. You just take this red wire and right in the groove there where it's uh, kind of uh, machined out you wrap your wire around there and in a spring coil it up like a spring lick like I've got it there type of thing this one shows a little better just like that and uh, yeah and you can use any any wire you want like I had some black of the same size that I was thinking of using but I decided to go with the red because the, the motor's red and I got torsion bars on the back that are red and the brake calipers are red so you know, keeping with the red theme, I just decided to go red. But that's them, like I said, for a first time, uh, first timer like me at doing this stuff. They're a really nice kit to to work with, so highly recommended.
and they're only like eight bucks or eight fifty, so that's not bad. I've seen a few where they're like thirteen or fourteen bucks just for one set. So, so yeah, those are on front and back, and I made uh, aluminum drive shaft for it. So, what I'll do is is I'll pull the motor out here <clears throat> real quick. And I'll show you underneath the uh, chassis. Drive shaft here. Flip the chassis over. Alright. <clears throat> I said I put the coil all over trucks on the rear there, so little torsion bars. I just noticed too when I flipped it over, I have the little touch up paint or on this side here. A little touch up paint I got to do inside of there. But yeah, I thought it turned out okay. Not bad for my first time doing this kind of detail. And the front, I added a little aluminum, like, uh, what do you call it? The steer bar. Oh, I can't remember what, that, what this piece is called, but. Steer bar or whatever, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. But <clears throat> anyways, yeah. When I was cleaning it up, it broke on me. So I was actually thinking while I was cleaning it up, I was like thinking to myself, I have a piece of aluminum tubing that would fit in there fairly well. And then when it broke, I was like, well, I guess we're going aluminum tubing. But and then I had just like a straight pin on either side because the reference pictures that I could tell. It, uh, there'll be like a little nut. It had a little nut, but it, they, there'll be a little nut in there too, and then they'll. That's how they tr true up the wheels. They can tow it in or tow it out. They call it. I'm not. I'm not a mechanic, so I don't know the, the all the ins and outs. But just from what I read and seen on online, that's kind of what it, it looks like. I was trying to make it look as realistic as I could, but like I said it's my first time, so I'm not expecting to hit a home run. I'm expecting just to do good and hopefully get better at it, but. <clears throat> I said, so that's the chassis, the motor, that's where that stuff's at, the body, still no paint on it, still not cleaned up, nothing done to it, I haven't even touched it, but, I guess I can show you the underside of the motor here too, but that's the, yeah, that's the underside, the, uh, the little uh, fuel pump, I got the wire running into there, and then I got another hole drilled into it, that will run back to the fuel cell here that I just have painted, nothing else done to it. I gotta detail it out and add some little fittings onto it for the lines to run into and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it. My VC, or uh, sorry, my uh, extreme scale detail stuff came in as you can tell. I got the photo etched kit for. Uh, for the Corvette 61 to 62 model, so use what I can out of that for it. It'd be nice. Uh, Seatbelt kit. I think I'm gonna go with a five-point harness. I have Detail Masters five-point harnesses. Looks like I was saying I want to run a roll cage in the back, so I might attach to the roll cage or something like that. But do something like that, anyways, with it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. I'm going to cut these. I think I decided I'm going to cut these off here, these little fender um, fender piece things in there. I'm going to cut them off and then run some aluminum rod from the firewall uh, up to the frame for a little, a little engine protection. Um, the only thing I can tell is the hood comes with a little piece that mounts onto these and then the hood will actually do like a flip flip flop forward like this type of thing but um, I'm not I don't care about that I'm just seeing I'm gonna have to add a little piece of styrene I think to the to the body up here just so that the hood doesn't so the hood sits in there better because it looks like it wants to go forward add a little piece of add a little piece of styrene on there to keep it from doing that but yeah that's I'm not worried about that it's a race car like if you're doing any work to the motor nine times out of ten they'll probably pull the pull the, uh, the hood right off, right, if they're doing anything on the one-on-one -on -one car, you know, those guys just pull the hood off and put
screw it off to the side so it's not in the way. So same thing, I'm not worried about the hinges and and that stuff. And I think opening this up will when you do have the hood off it will show more of the detail work that I did to the motor, so um yeah, so like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut these off and go that way anyways, but with it, but uh, I'm leaning towards red on the car right now, like kind of a darker red, kind of like almost like on the box there that was shown, kind of like that is what I'm after. I'm not making it like, like the the uh, DMN uh, glass gasser that this car is. I'm just making it a, a cheeseburger kind of kind of gasser. It's it's gonna be a Chevy cheeseburger car, right? So. So I'm not worried about being the same as the box, but I just kind of like that color and everything else is kind of, you know, going red right now. So I was thinking the body was going red. I was almost thinking a green too for the body, but I don't know. The interior, I think I'm just going to do like a black basically on it and black seats and not going to do too much on the interior as far as detail. But anyways, guys, I'll let you go. It's going on long enough here. Uh, but yeah, just a little update of what's going on. Tell me what you guys think of the motor and stuff. Let me, uh, I say it's my first time, so, uh, you know, on the, doing this stuff. So take it easy on me. Don't be too hard. But but let me know what you think. Let me know if it's no good or if it passes. But uh, like I said, just got to do a little tweaking here and there and some touch-up painting from handling it all the time. Yeah, you, you, you kind of take off a little bit of paint here and there. So I got to touch up some paint here and there on it. But... Other than that, it's pretty, the engine I think is is pretty much done. I start working on other stuff and get going on the body and paint and focusing on that. I've seen a couple other of your guys' builds and they've been going. They look really nice and you guys are like some of them are way way far farther ahead than me. I think uh, Dale at uh, Northern Nostalgic Customs. I think it is his is like way farther ahead. He's got his all ready to go pretty much. You just gotta put it all together I think and it's looking really good that truck is looking awesome so I like that truck I like how he did it with the flat black and the flames look I love it's perfect <clears throat> but uh, yeah hopefully next time I do an update I'll have some paint on this thing hopefully and a little further along but just going like I said I'm new to, to doing this stuff so it's taking me a little bit longer to uh, a little bit longer to do sometimes I'm doing things twice but <laughs> oh well it's all part of the learning and the fun right Anyways, guys, thanks for uh, watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.